Hello everyone, and today I'm going to be reviewing what is, in my opinion, one of the best books uh, for beginning and learning Russian. Uh, it's not a super, super beginner book, so you want to know, like, a few words, just like basic, basic words like and and, and in and stuff like that. But um, this is an excellent uh, book for learning Russian. Uh, if you don't know the alphabet, it will also teach you the alphabet. Uh, not only the regular alphabet, but also the cursive alphabet, which is very useful. And the cursive alphabet is completely different in some ways to the regular typed out Russian alphabet. Uh, name of the book, it's a teach yourself book. Uh, it's called Complete Russian Beginner, in, you know, Beginner to Intermediate Course. And um, here's what you can expect to learn from it, just on the cover there. It's by Daphne West and uh, with Michael Ransom and Marta Tomaszewski. I probably butchered that name. Uh, but very, very, very good book. Very in-depth, uh, especially for English learner. So if you, oh, not English learner, English speaker. <clears throat> so if you already speak English, um, this book is definitely for you. Uh, it covers pretty much everything that you need to know as a beginner in Russian. If I just skip to a random page here, um, it's got like long, lengthy, not too lengthy, but like in-depth explanations, uh, not just on, you know, vocabulary and grammar and stuff, but like the actual sort of culture and, and history and stuff like that. <clears throat> and it does teach like a ton of, a ton of vocabulary. There's like a bunch of vocabulary lists in here. Uh, I believe you probably want to know like a few words, like just really basic words before you really get into here. But you could probably um, start learning Russian uh, just just with this book. You, you, you probably could actually. You don't necessarily need to know any Russian before you start using this book. But it, it would, you know, help a little bit. It'll just make it a bit faster progressing through the book. But as you can see, it teaches you everything from, you know, hello to pronouns and then, you know, basic vocabulary and stuff like that. And then by the time we get to, like, where are we? What chapter is this? By the time we get to, like, chapter 12, it's it's still giving you new words. <laughs> the words get slightly longer and sometimes it gives you, like, whole phrases. Um, and there's tons of really cool conversations in here. It can really help you start to understand the Russian language. Um, just little dialogues between people, and then it'll ask you questions uh, on the dialogue. So far, I've found this really helpful because I've been able to answer pretty much all of the questions. And if you don't know, you can just sort of go back and, and reread parts, and it usually helps that the questions are in order of um, the dialogue, so you can sort of guess how far you have to go back depending on which question number it is. Uh, there's also a ton of explanation on like tenses and cases and stuff like that. Cases are an absolute nightmare um, when you're starting out. And there's like, it'll get you to read like signs and stuff and then answer questions about the signs. And then there's writing practice. There's, this is sort of like a reading practice here where it'll get you to read the text and then it'll give you a bunch of questions. Um, I like the uh, multiple choice questions here. Uh, mainly just because you can go through them really fast. <laughs> but um, it'll ask you questions, usually in Russian, and then you have to answer in Russian. Sometimes it'll ask you the question in English, sometimes it'll ask you in Russian. Uh, usually further on in the book it'll ask you a bit of both. And it's just an excellent book overall. There's also speaking practice and there is online audio. I haven't really um, used this so much but you can definitely go ahead and do that. I believe there's like a little thing at the front of the book somewhere, I can't remember where it is exactly, that gives you like a little link that you can go to. But if you just look up Teach Yourself Complete Russian, Beginner and Intermediate Course, um, audio, you know, audio next to it, then you'll probably just find it. I, I found it on YouTube, I think. It was uploaded to YouTube. Uh, just a very good book. I haven't finished, I've got three chapters to go in this book, but so far everything's been super good. It progresses nice and easy. It's not like throwing you straight into the deep end. It just sort of slowly works its way up in difficulty and the conversations slowly get a little bit longer. 
and then they sort of plateau around halfway through the book. And there's still some short ones, but um, yeah, and you know, plenty of adjectives and basically everything that you need to know when you're reading and speaking and understanding Russian. Very, very, very good book. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Uh, here's the description on the back if you want to pause the video and read it. Oh, sorry, my, my camera's a, a tiny bit in the way there. I'll just sort of hover over it a little bit in case you want to read it. But uh, yeah, uh, as for price, uh, this one I believe cost me about $50 and it was like from Fish Pond, I think, which I think was branch of Amazon, I'm not sure, but I think they're closing down now, I don't know. Uh, I did see the same book advertised in my country, but it was like $70 or something, but if you go online and just... Uh, compare prices across different websites and that you'll be able to find it probably not too expensive uh, shouldn't shouldn't be too much more than 50 I think it had free shipping too which was pretty good so I imagine the shipping was included in the price of the book uh, but yeah definitely worth the money I would definitely buy this again if I were to go back in time and have the option to do so uh, thanks for watching that's just my thoughts and have an excellent day or night goodbye